labaran duniya labaru da dimdimin su babu bangaranci cikin gida da kasashen waje unity Masu kallon tashirin TTV Assalamu alaikum barka mu da wannan lokaci da muka saba ka muku labaran duniya da farko a cikin muhimman kanin su rundunar sojin Najeriya ta kaddamar da wani shirin daki le kashe kashe a nan plato kana sojojin sun tarwa tsansanin iPod tare da kwato makamai Fema ta yi gargadin samun ambaliyar ruwa a Abuja NCDC ta ce jihar Kano ce kan gaba a yawan masu cutar mashako a Najeriya Labarin ƙetare kuwa Algeria ta nuna bukatar shiga kungiyar kasashen BRICS sai kuma a fagen wasanni inda Kanu ya zama shugaban kungiyar ƴan ba. kanin labaran kenan yanzu ga cikakkun su mai karatu Suleiman Hassan zamu fara labaran ne da batun tsaro inda rundunar sojin Najeriya ta kaddamar da wata runduna ta musamman domin kawo ƙarshen ka wato kashe-kashe a nan jihar Plato wadda aka yi walƙabi da operation hakorin da musa ta hudu babban hafsan sojin ƙasa na Najeriya Manjo Janar Tauril Lagbaja shine ya kaddamar da sabuwar rundunar ranar asabar a karamar hukumar bango ta jihar nan domin kawo ƙarshen harahare da kisan jama'a babu gaira babu dalili a mangu da wasu sassan nan jihar Plato baki daya ku ci gaba da bibiyar tashoshin Unity TV da radio inda zamu kawo muku cikakken wannan rahoto a labaran mu na gaba to har yanzu dai ga mada batun tsaron inda rundunar sojin Najeriya ta ce dakarinta na operation hadarin daji sun samu nasarar kashe wasu ƴan bindiga a jihar Zamfara dakarin sojin Najeriya sun ce sun samu nasarar ce a ranar 20 ga watan Yulin nan na shekarar 2023 bayan kai su mame maboyar ƴan bindiga wadda hakan na cikin zimmar sabon hafsan sojin kasa Manjo Janar Tauril Lagbaja na ganin an dawo da zaman lafiya a jihar da kuma yankin Arewa masoyan macin Najeriya sojojin sun kuma samu nasarar tarwa tsasan sanonin ƴan bindiga da dama a kauyukan mutuwa da gudu wato guda ta da guda ta tudu da kawar da tandayawa da gidan kare da kuma mahuta da kuma gyado dake jihar Zamfara da Sokoto sai dai an yi ta'arta bu tsakanin sojojin da kuma ƴan bindigar inda daga bisani sojojin suka fi karfin ƴan bindigar da kuma samun nasara akan su sun kuma samu nasarar kwato bindiga da harsa sai da kuma babura guda hudu daga hannun ƴan bindigar haka ma irin wannan su mame da sojojin suka kai karamar hukumar maradin sun samu nasarar kashe ƴan bindiga hudu da hana su shiga kauyen wato yayin da wasu suka tsere da raunukan bindiga har wa yau dai game da batun tsaron inda rundunar sojin Najeriya tare da hadin guyuwar jami'an tsaron farin kaya wato DSS suka lalata sansanin ƴan ta'addan IPOP da ta kwararta ta ESN a birnin Asaba na jihar Delta cikin wata sanarwa da rundunar ta wallafa a shafinta na Twitter ta ce jami'an ta sun kaddamar da simame akan sansanin ƴan awaran da ke tsakiyar babban birnin da wato babban dajin Asaba da safiyar Asabar inda suka samu nasarar kwato makamai sojojin sun yi nasarar ko musayar wuta da ƴan bindigar a lokacin su maman inda daga bisani ƴan bindigar suka gudu daga maboyar tasu sanarwar ta ce sojojin sun kuma wato kama daya daga cikin mayakan na ƴan awaran ta'addan iPod din tare da kwato bindigogi biyar kirar AK47 da manyan bindigogi masu sarrafa kansu guda uku da wata kirar G3 da karamar bindiga guda daya sauran abubuwan da dakarun sojin suka kwato sun hada da kwansan saka alburusai biyar da gatari da kuma tutar kungiyar iPod babban hafsan sojin kasa na Najeriya Manjo Janar Tauril Lagwaja yayi ba da irin namijin kokari da sojojin suka yi 
tare da sauran jami'an tsaro a yunkurin su na kawar da ayyukan yan ta'addan take addabar yankin tare da maido da zaman lafiya wani magidan cime shekaru 32 David Shudola wadda ake zargi yana da tabin hankali ya jefa garin ikara da ke karamar hukumar Remo Arewa ta jahar Ogun cikin rudani a ranar Juma'a bayan da ya fille kan wani dattijo mai shekaru 84 mai suna Alfred Opadipe sai dai yan sanda a jahar sun harbe mahaukacin bayan da aka ce ya bujire wa kama shi wani fofon bidiyo mai tsawon minti 9 da dakika 8 da aka yada a kafofin sada zumunta na internet a ranar Juma'a ya nuna gawar mahaukacin a ƙasa sannan nesa da shi ga ana ganin wani kaida ake zargin na dattijan da ya fille ne wani gano wadda yayi magana a cikin fofon bidiyon ya bayyana cewa mahaukacin ne ya kashe dattijan wajen fille masa kai jami'ar hulɗa da jama'a ta rundunar yan sandan jihar Ogun Omotola Odutola ta tabbatar da faruwar lamarin a wata sanarwa da ta fitar a Abekuta a ranar Juma'a hukumar bayar da agajin gaggawa ta birnin tarayya Abuja wato Fema ta yi gargadin samu ruwan sama mai karfin gaske da zai iya haifar da Ambaliya a babban birnin kasar na Abuja da wasu jihohin kasar nan a ranakun Asabar da Lahadi cikin wata sanarwa da hukumar ta fitar ranar Juma'a mai dauke da sa hannun jami'in hulɗa da jama'a na hukumar in ke ci Isa ya ce hukumar na gargadin ne bayan hukumar kula da yanayi ta ƙasa ta yi hasashen samun ruwan sama mai ƙarfin gaske hade da iska da ambaliya da zai zayar ƙasa a wasu sassan jihohin Katsina Kano Bauchi Plato Taraba da kuma Abuja hukumar kula da yanayi ta ƙasa wato Naime ta yi hasashen cewa za a samu ambaliya tare da batsewar koguna da iska mai ƙarfi da zai zayar ƙasa da walƙiya da kuma tsawa hukumar ta Naime ta yi kira a sauya matsuguna ga al'umomi da suke cikin hatsarin fuskantar ambaliyar wadda za ta iya lalata dukiyoyi tare da tare da haifar da cututtuka babban daraktan hukumar bayar da agajin gaggawa ta birnin Abuja Dr. Abbas Idris ya ce hukumar ta sanya jami'anta cikin shirin ko ta kwana domin fuskantar matsalar haka kuma yayi kira ga mazauna birnin da surika la'akari da gargadin da hukumar ta fitar tare da kaucewoyin tuki ko tafiya da kafa a lokacin da ake tsaka da ruwan sama tare da kaucewo tituna da ruwan zai iya mamayewa ya kuma nemi jama'a da su yi gaggawar tuntubar hukumar idan suna bukatar taimakon gaggawa da gaggare ta Yara biyu sun rasa rayukan su a wani gini da ya rubta a titin a jawo dake unguwar Ikorodu ta jahar Lagos. Hukumar bayar da agajin gaggawa ta ƙasa wato Nema ta ce lamarin ya faru ne da safiyar Asabar. Yaran yan shekara tara da kuma bakwai sun makale ne a lokacin da aka tangare wato gidan da ke makwabtaka da su ya fada akan ginin su a lokacin da ake ruwan sama kamar da bakin kwariya ji coordinator hukumar Nema a yankin Kudu masoyan macin Najeriya Ibrahim Folarinye wato Forinyola a cikin wata sanarwa hukumar ta ce ba a samu kai agajin gaggawa ba a lokacin domin ce to rayukan yaran rahotanni sun bayyana cewa Nema ta jajanta wa iyayen yaran da lamarin ya ratsa da su tare da addu'ar ubangiji ya ba su ikon jure rashin hukumar kula da gine gine ta jahar Lagos wato Lapska Itama ta je wurin domin da lamarin ya faru domin tantance abin da ya faru Tsohon shugaban Najeriya Muhammad Buhari ya halarci daurin auren daga gwamnatin jahar Borno Muhammad Babagana Zulum daurin auren wadda aka gudanar ranar Asabar a babban masallacin jahar da ke mai duguri kusa da fadar Shehun Borno Abubakar Ibn Umar Garbar Garbai Elkenemi ya samu halartar manyan baki daga fadin kasar nan tsohon shugaban Najeriya shi ya yi wa bangaren ango wali taka inda ya karbawa dan gwamnatin na Borno amaryar sa mai suna Ummu Khaltum cikin mutane da suka halacci daurin auren akwai mataimakin shugaban kasa Senator Kashim Shatima da gwamnoni masu ci da kuma tsaffi da mai bayar shugaban kasa shawara kan harkar tsaro Malam Nuhuri Bado 
da ƴan majalisar tarayya da sarakunan gargajiya hada da ƴan kasuwa daga ciki da wajen jihar ta Borno to a bangaren kiwon lafiya kuwa cutar ma shako ta hallaka kananan yara uku tare da kwantar da bakwai asibiti bayan barkewar ta karamar hukumar makarfi dake jihar Kaduna kamfanin dillancin labaran Najeriya wato nan ya ambato sakatar lafiya na karamar hukumar makarfi Malam Aliyu Alasan na tabbatar da hakan a lokacin zantawa da shi ya kara da cewa an samu bullar cutar a garin tashar na kawu dake karamar hukumar gubuci a karamar hukumar wato dake mazabar gubuci a karamar hukumar Alasan ya ce mafi yawan wadanda cutar ta kama kananan yara ne inda ya ci gaba da cewa tuni aka dauke san furin jinin su tare da aikewa da shi zuwa birnin Abuja domin yin gwaji don tantance cutar a baya bayan nan dai cutar ma shako na ci gaba da bulla a wasu jihohin kasan nan tare da rahotannin rasa rayuka masu yawa a wasu jihohin alamomin cutar sun hada da wahalar numfashi zazzabi mai zafi tari kasala zafin makogoro da kuma kumburin wuya To har ila yau hukumar dakile cututtuka masu yaduwa ta Najeriya wato NCDC ta bayyana cewa cutar ma shako wato difteria ta kashe mutane 80 a kasar nan daga watan Mayu zuwa Yunin bana BBC ta rawaito cewa wani rahoto da hukumar ta fitar ta ce yanzu mutane 836 ne suka harbi da cutar kuma jihar Kano ce ta fi yawan wadanda suka kamu da ita inda take da mutane 819 hukumar ta ce alƙaliman sun shafi kananan hukumomi 33 na jihohi bakwai da suka hada da Yobe, Katsina, Sokoto, Zamfara, Kaduna da kuma Abuja ko a makon nan mai ƙarewa dai an bayar da rahotan mutuwar yara kusan 13 sakamakon cutar a jihar Kaduna to alabarin ƙetare kuwa za mu fara ne da nahiyar Afirka inda Algeria ta mika bukatar san zama mamba a kungiyar kasashen BRICS da kuma kasancewa mai hannun jari a bankin na BRICS tare da zuba kudi da ya kai dala biliyan 1.5 kamar yadda gidan talabijin na El Nahar ya wato rawaito shugaban kasar Abdul Majid Tobone yana cewa idan talabijin din ya kara da cewa shugaba Tobone ya ce Algeria na san zama mamba a kungiyar ne domin bude sabbin hanyoyin karfafa tattalin arzikin ta kasar da ke yankin arewacin Afirka mai albarkatun man Peter da kuma iskar gas dai tana san karfafa tattalin arzikin ta da kuma kulla alaka ta kasashe irin su China wasu kasashen da suka nuna sha'awar su ta shiga kungiyar BRICS din sun hada da Argentina Iran Saudi ya hadaddiyar daular Larabawa, Cuba, Jamhuriyar Demokradiyar Congo, Comoros, Gabon da kuma wato Kazakhstan. China za ta zuba jari na dala biliyan 36 a Algeria a fannoni daban-daban da suka hada da masana'antu da fasaha da tattalin arziki da kuma sufuri hada da aikin gona. To har yanzu dai a labarin ƙetaren can a gabas ta tsakiya kuwa jagoran addini na kasar Iran Ayatullah Ali Khamenei ya bayyana a ranar asabar cewa ya zama wajibi mutanen da suka wulakanta alƙur'ani mai tsarki su fuskanci hukunci mai tsanani ya kuma buƙaci kasar Sweden da ta mika wadanda mutane ko kuma mutanen da ake zargin domin yi musu shari'a kasashen musulmi kamar yadda ka far yada labaran Iran ta rawaito ya ce dukkanin malaman musulunci sun yi ittifaki akan cewa wadanda suka wulakanta alƙur'ani sun cancanci hukunci mafi tsauri domin hakkin da ke kan gwamnatin Sweden shine ta mika musu wato masu laifin zuwa ga kasashen musulmi inji Khamenei ya ce malamai sun bukaci a kashe wata yarinya da ake kyautata zaton ta zagi annabi Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam to a fagen wasanni kuwa za mu fara ne daga nan gida Najeriya inda hukumar gudanarwar kungiyar kwallon kafa ta Eyimba International ta nada tsohon dan wasan Arsenal da Najeriya uwa ku Kano a matsayin shugaban kungiyar kwallon kafar ta Eyimba gwamnatin jihar Abia Alet Otine ya sanar da nadin kuma Kano ya karbi ragamar jagoranci daga Felix Anya Agu Anyasi Agu 
wadda ya jagoranci kungiyar na tsawon shekaru 24 a lokacin da kungiyar ta lashe mulambobin yabo da dama ciki har da lashe gasaccin kofin kaf sau biyu tsohon abokin wasan Kano na Super Eagles Finidi George shine ya horas da kungiyar inda ya zama zakara a gasar league ta tara a bara da kuma samun gurbin shiga gasaccin kofin zakarin nahiyar Afirka ta kaf a kakarwa sa mai zuwa haka kuma an nada John Sam Obu wadda a kwanakin baya yana aiki da kungiyar Roma Academy dake Abuja a matsayin shugaban wata kungiyar kwallon kafa ta Nigeria mai suna Abia Warriors to can a gasar cin kofin duniya ta mata kuwa Japan dake rukuni na uku a gasar ce ta Chaskara Zambia da cibiyar da babu a yayin da Amurka mai rike da kofin ta doke Vietnam da ci uku da babu ita kuwa Ingila ta yi nasara akan Haiti da ci daya da babu a gasar cin kofin duniya ta mata da ake yanzu haka Australia da New Zealand dai a rukuni na hudu Denmark ta ci China da ya babu karan farko da Denmark din ta koma bugu ko kuma buga gasaccin kofin duniya tun bayan shekaru 16 to wadannan labaran wasanni kuma sune suka kamu karshen rahotannin da muka yawa mai kallo ta na di a daidai wannan lokaci anan tashar Unity TV da ke nan Birnin Jos din Jahar Plato a tsakiyar arewacin tarayyar Najeriya amma kamar yadda muka saba tunatar da ku kafin mai sallama za ku iya ci gaba da bibiyar kayatattun shirye-shiryen mu domin kallon su a kafafan mu na sada zumunta da suka hada da Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube da sauran su duk at Unity FM TV to a madadin kowa da kowa musamman injiniyoyin da suka tabbatar da zuwan labaran kan kwalbar talabijin da wayoyin hannunku awal Ibrahim GSM da abokin aikin shi Muhammad Shamsuddin Kabir Albashir Sunana Suleiman Hassan da na tace na karanto muku labaran a madadin su baki daya nake mana fatan alheri da fatan za a ci gaba da bibiyar shirye-shiryen tashar hadin kan al'umma murya cikin nazari I was the head boy in my primary school, senior prefect and best graduating student in my secondary school, but drug abuse almost ruined my life. I was on an average of two grams of cocaine per day. I was taking eight amples of pentazosin daily. European shisha, cocaine. I became a user, a dealer, and a gangster. I saw other users drowning. I knew I didn't want to be like them, but I was already trapped. My family disowned me. My employment was terminated. I sold my car, sold my house. I'll go out well dressed and return shoeless, shirtless in exchange for drugs. I was seeing things that were not real and I won't stab myself because I felt something crawling under my skin. I contacted NDLE and started therapy. I spent three months in therapy. I spent eight months. It's easy to relapse, but your mind has to be stronger than the craving. Drugs are does not love you. You are not the one using drugs. Drugs are the one using you. Say no to drug abuse. Labaran dunia. Labaru dat mutemansu. Babu pangaranchi. Chikin gida dat kasashan wajah.